guys, you're here live with MVI. Thanks for joining us. Um, today we've got a uh, vet in the uh, in the shop. It's been asked for for quite some time. Finally got somebody to bring us one. So we're going to document the uh, CarPlay and Android Auto upgrade um, on this, which uh, we get a lot of requests for. There are some good videos out there, but now you'll have one from us um, to kind of give you an idea of what's involved. So. Um, I will be up front. Uh, this is a, um, uh, it should be pretty easy on the left side. Over on the right side is where the struggle is going to be. Um, and I'll show you why along the way. So we'll see how this goes. Um, keep in mind this is live, so we may hit some snags, but we will overcome them. So this is a 2015. Some things I'll point out real quick. PDR will remain with our upgrade on the 15. Um, it's also got the uh, backup camera lines. I'll retain those. This particular one has the nav already in it. Um, so we will retain that. If you're adding nav, um, this vehicle is challenging to uh, uh, as far as the antenna goes. So the only real spot for the antenna is up here under this uh, left front speaker grill, which I don't have any documentation of, but I, if we have the time, I, I can try and pop this out. But basically this pillar has to come off and then this grill pops up and then the GPS antenna would sit up here under the, um, the speaker grill area. That's the only option for it. <clears throat> On the 14s, very important, 2014 vehicles. If you go in here to settings, um, we can see uh, driving mode. It's not lit up because I don't have it started. Um, but this would be lit up so you could access it and do engine management um, and also suspension. Let me go ahead and just start it. It's going to be loud. So driving mode. You have sound management, stuff you can select on here. So on the 15s, none of this is affected, but on the 14s, and this is a little bit different um, setup, it's not quite as advanced, you do lose access to this on the touchscreen, just FYI, on the 14s only, pretty important. 15s, no problem, 14s, this touch portion would be lost. However, you still have access through it here. This does, as you change things, um, also uh, change your sound management, changes your suspension and everything else. So this would still work, your mode selector here. On the 14s, you'll lose it on the touch screen. Absolutely nothing we can do about that. Um, we've tried everything, it's just lost on the 14s. You gotta stick with this. There is a workaround you can do um, with the performance enhancement, um, which there's information on the on the forums about if you want to if you want to get crazy with it but um, if you don't care about any of that not a big deal if you do care about it no going into it if you're 14 that will be lost on here you will rely strictly on the selector knob on the center console so on our description on the web page and what we talk about when we talk to you this is what we're referring to just FYI so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this um, over here we're going to start with replacing the HMI which sits on the left hand side and obviously the uh, biggest challenge to this vehicle is that you're working on the ground because it sits so low so <clears throat> make sure you've got something for your knees and this seat is all the way back so really have not that many options as far as <coughs> what you can work with. So, I'm just going to get this panel out of the way. As you can see, it just snaps out. Now, my instructions talk about removing uh, this lower sill panel here. Um, I don't believe that's needed. I've gotten plenty of feedback on that. Uh, at the time I made the instructions, I just went by what GM says to do. They say to remove that along with a bunch of other stuff, which is not needed. HMI actually sits right here, guys, so you can sneak it out. Um, it's just a matter of getting down to it. <clears throat> and yeah, this is going to 
should come right out. So. Just unplug the USBs. Probably the hardest one. It's gonna be this GPS antenna. Which I got it here. So one thing I will try and point out if I can here guys. Make sure you don't pull the, the blue connector off the HMI. If you pull, it's just a bad design by GM, but a lot of times that'll stay in there. So when I get this out, you'll see what I mean. And I'm gonna need little bit of assistance getting this down so a little trick here to insert the harnesses back in. Gives you something to kind of wiggle the HMI back and forth. Gently, you don't want to do it obviously super tight. she'll slide right out okay so this is what I was talking about this connector likes to pull off the HMI so you want to be sure that stays intact that's one thing to pay attention to <clears throat> and we're just gonna slide this right back up
So the biggest challenge with this is kind of working where you can't really see because this car is so low. Okay, so a couple things I'm gonna point out. Questions to get asked. There's enough video and documentation on out there that this shouldn't be coming up, but just in case. So if I go ahead and fire this up, you'll see the projection icon there. Right there and it's not gonna work because this guy here needs to be replaced so I plug my phone in nothing's gonna change except it will go ahead and charge well, it's gonna recognize CarPlay, but it's not really gonna work. <clears throat> because that port needs to be replaced. Now, if you have an Android phone, it's possible that it'll work, um, but the port we send with it does need to be replaced. You do typically lose this SD card. Well, you, yes, you do typically lose. We do have a new option where we can retain this. We're gonna try it today. But GM took this away in 2016, so that's gone. Obviously, you still have access to your music through the USBs in your 3.5. The SD is typically lost. I'm going to test this today with the new one. Um, that will be an option if you want to retain it. it. Doesn't come in black though; it only comes in white. <clears throat> so uh, it would look like this. So I am going to test this to see if we can retain that SD. If it works, we'll uh, leave an option on the site for you to select that. Um, but otherwise, that's normally lost, just FYI. And this new piece does need to be swapped in order for it to work. The radio module, which is the next pain in the butt, also needs to be swapped before this will work. That's down there. Um, and I'll try and show you that here in a second. So actually, while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and just swap this USB. One other thing I'm gonna mention, guys, um, cables are important. This white one here is a genuine Apple one. I literally use this one for certain things. It is genuine Apple. These are nice. <clears throat> They're cheap. You can save some money. They're longer and whatnot. They don't always work for CarPlay, just FYI. The system is picky. If, you, if you're fighting connection and whatnot, you need a genuine cable. So I'm going to go ahead and um, shut this back off. And while we're here... This is normally the last thing I do, but I guess just to prove what I'm talking about here. A couple picks are all you need. <clears throat> right angle, preferably. I ordered a nice set on Amazon for 20 bucks and got a whole lot, but you can get some cheapies for like, um, you know, six, seven bucks on Amazon. You can also get them at Harbor Freight, nice and easy. But if you got the right angle, you can go in there on the side. And just pop it right out. So this is literally all that it takes. Now the kit normally comes with this black one. You would lose the SD, and I know for a fact that this works. <clears throat> for purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in. And I'm gonna give this customer the option. See if he wants to keep it or what he wants to do. So, white doesn't look bad in my opinion. I'm not gonna clip, clip it in place just yet, but with that said, again, we're live here, guys, so.
notice this switch to CarPlay and it automatically just switched. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm allow on here. All right, so at this point you would think, great, I don't need to replace that radio. Well, not really the case. Um, and I'll show you why, so it's just. So here's why. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Siri, can you hear me? That's why. There's ab absolutely no voice control without replacing that radio. So it is extremely important. The proper software is also extremely important or you don't have that PDR. Um, so there's a lot involved on these vets. We do have it dialed in. Like I said, the only hiccup for us is the 14s. And it's just because the equipment changed, so not much we can do about that. I'm going to come back and test this SD card in the end, but this does work for CarPlay. Now, let me uh, just, while we're here, I'll grab this cheapy, and it may work just fine. A lot of times, if these are pretty new and in good, durable, good shape or a higher end quality, they will work. But this will be the first thing I'm going to ask you if, if you're fighting something is uh about the cable and this one's going to prove me wrong and it is going to work these don't always work though guys just fyi so keep that in mind um that I, I am going to ask you about this if, if you're fighting it connecting and whatnot i'm going to ask you about it so with that said let's move to the radio which sits on the uh driver's side so we are going to have to flip Position side or passenger side, excuse me. I meant to say that that's not what came out. Um, GM and their metal clips, guys, can be an absolute nightmare sometimes, but... It's stuck in there, I'll have to dig it out, which comes out with a couple picks, which I'll do after we're done. There is a panel here that has to come down. out of here.
GM and their designs are sometimes overcomplicate things. <clears throat> All right, now for the fun part. Now the radio sits <clears throat> behind this. The GM actually wants you to take this seat out, take this carpet all the way out, which would make it a whole lot nicer to work with, but we're basically going to try and sneak this out. So if I remember right, um, we're just going to lift this up. So I'm just going to take out these 10 mils and then this should hopefully lift up. And if I recall, it gives us enough room to kind of squeeze it out. Um, and that's going to be the fun part. So let me grab the uh, tool. There's a brack bolt at the top, but <coughs> it's been about four years since I've worked on one of these cars, guys. Four or five, so. So that's your PDR. FYI, the radio sits behind the BCM. It's right there. That's actually what I was hoping for right there is just to pull it out. So See what I did I just grabbed that Instead of trying to disassemble everything Instead of fighting things, pick. What I'm going to do is just kind of help basically pry it off. It likes to get caught on that ear, basically, is what happens.
Tech. You have everything plugged in. Yeah, there is no green port on this one, guys, because it's a a green port is only there on certain vehicles. Um, you're not going to see that on digital bows, which this is, and most bows vehicles. But for sure, the digital that green plug won't be there. And she's installed, good to go. So I made that look a lot easier than it normally is, guys. Just FYI, force is with us today. It's a beautiful thing. All right, we've got some put together here, but with that said, Hey Siri, what's playing? One moment. And now you can see that Siri's working, so that's why that radio has to be replaced. And I'm in a bad uh, data area. This is all the other kids with the pumped up kicks by Top 40 Pop Hits. So there we go. Full car play. Apple Maps, Waze, I don't have Waze on this phone, I don't think, and yeah, now Google Maps, I had Waze on here, so the app has to be on your screen, obviously, um, to work, but full CarPlay upgrade in the uh, vehicle with the factory nav, okay, and PDR is lit up. Driving mode fully works. Again, this is on the 15. 14, that won't. Can't stress that enough. Make sure you guys are paying attention to that with your 14s. Um, and I don't, haven't played with this enough to know, but the PDR um, does work. As you can see, I can, I can make it work as well. So that's all part of our uh, service here. Most of the people can't get that working. We have figured it out. And uh, start to finish, I think, under an hour. I didn't quite set the time on it, but um, right around 40 minutes. So not that bad. This one went pretty smooth, pretty happy with it. So as usual, any questions, um, messages, go to the website and use the uh, chat message at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, that app we do uh, stay up on. It's the best way to reach us these days. So just go there, talk with us live. If we're not there, we'll get back to you.